Let's get reaction now from former Attorney General Mike Mukasey. Uh, General Mukasey, Judge Mukasey, it's great to see you. You just heard from the congressman. I mean, this is wild. The Justice Department said you've received all the documents essentially you're entitled to. Where are we tonight, Judge? Well, I haven't seen the subpoena, um, and I haven't seen the documents. So I'm a little bit in the dark about where we are. But it's not um, an impossible task to turn over documents. I think they ought to do more discussing between and among themselves than um, posturing publicly. Well, it looks like it, the, the documents Nunes requested were about informants placed inside the Trump campaign or who approached the Trump campaign. I think part of what he's trying to determine when this investigation really began, because they were saying that this investigation into the Trump possible collusion began at the end of July 2016. But indications are that it began really in the spring of 2016. State Department uh, very well involved, Christopher Steele and that dossier, uh, in and out of the halls of, of justice and, and, and perhaps the State Department. So I think that's what they're worried about, that who was really running this investigation and who gave it the impetus, Judge, from the very beginning. Well, you hit the nail on the head. That's what we really need to know is when it started and how. And um, to the extent that there was, um, I mean, I'm interested, for example, in knowing how this informant uh, who started out as a CIA uh, asset suddenly became an FBI informant. You know, those two, those two organizations don't really play with each other's toys. And I don't understand how that happened, um, who brought it about, who paid him, what, his, what he was told about his responsibility in going into the Trump campaign, and when that happened. Um, that is something that I think we ought to know, and if there were any others, obviously we ought to know that as well. Judge, something I just asked Congressman Meadows about the failure of the inspector general to reveal who these staff attorneys are at Justice. And again, it looks like one of them, Mr. Kleinsmith, was writing unbelievable text messages that he was so depressed after the election. He was stressed and depressed and basically saying the resistance lives on. He's involved in, in, at the heart of this investigation, along with Strzok and, uh, of course, Moyers. But we're not revealing who these people are? Why? Well, They're not undercover agents. Obviously not. And I think that um, even more significant, at least to me, um, is not just the statements about the resistance, uh, but rather a, a set of uh, messages that passed between uh, Strzok and his, and his, uh, his friend um, the night that Donald Trump got the nomination, where she wrote to him, um, this is unbelievable that Trump has gotten the nomination. His response was, um, yeah, this increases the pressure to terminate uh, MYE, which was the, the, the code name, mid-year exam for the Clinton investigation. Um, that's not just an expression of opinion. That is a statement about how we ought to do our jobs. And that, to, as, on my reading, was not in the IG report. I don't recall seeing it. Um, and that's something I think they ought to question Strzok about when he testifies. And, Judge, he was just walked out of the DOJ last week. Apparently, he just lost his security clearance. I mean, that's what Jeff Sessions said. Well, he just lost his security clearance. Someone who is an advocate, a political advocate, running two critical investigations as a lead investigator. I mean, yeah. I never worked at DOJ. I worked at, you know, White House and transportation, education, but Supreme Court. But I never worked at DOJ. But if that's the way business is done at the DOJ, these high levels, we're in big trouble in this country. Big trouble. Well, um, it's, it certainly doesn't inspire confidence, nor does the, does the what, something that was reported in the IG report, namely that there were FBI agents uh, in contact with the press who were getting free meals, free tickets, um, and, other, <laughs> and other perks, um, and that there were so many of them, they couldn't tell who had leaked information. Now, that was, a, that was an absolute jaw-dropper. The notion that FBI agents were getting yeah. uh, uh, compensation, essentially, from reporters Judge. and developing relationships with them. Yeah, um, cozy. It, that, that, should have been, that should have been a firing offense. Judge, thank you so much.